Hey guys, Johnny Cardenas here, Stephen F. Austin State University Baseball. I'm here to talk to you today about a product that we used in the 2020 season called the Always Grind Game Log. Here at SFA, both our pitchers and our position players use the game log. It's basically a log for you to track your day-to-day -day performance on uh, bullpens, inner squads, games, and those kinds of things. Uh, we found it more effective to use in games, and it's one of the most effective in-game uh, resources that we've ever had here. Um, it's really user-friendly. It's simple. Basically, you put in the day, you put in the opponent, you put in the uh, whatever game it is, the situation, um, the pitch sequence, and the result, and then at the end, you can circle whether or not it was a quality at bat. Early in the year, uh, we had a very, very tough schedule uh, facing some really, really tough pitching staffs. And we got caught up chasing the numbers that we had set out for ourselves as a pre-season benchmark. Uh, we were falling short of that. Our hitters started to get really apprehensive, started to get nervous, started to get tight, started to doubt themselves a little bit. As we got closer to conference, my hitting coach and myself went to our players and said, hey, listen, what we're going to do is we're really going to pay attention to the quality at bats. We're going to pay attention to trying to find out what pitchers do against us, uh, you know, to get us out, and then try to make adjustments from there. We felt that if we kept our quality at bats to at least 400%, that we have, would have a chance to possibly win the game with our pitching staff. Um, when those guys did that, it allowed them the freedom of not having to get a hit every time for it to be a good at-bat. Um, they evaluate themselves, and we found that was a lot better than us evaluating them after the fact. The other residual effect of that is, is whenever you get to coaching those guys and, and you look at their game logs and you say, okay, this guy's having a hard time with the slider away, you know, and, and he says in, 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 in his log that he's not seeing it because you, we check the logs periodically and we say, okay, he says he's not seeing that. Then when you go into a practice setting and you're communicating that to the guy, the buy-in time is a lot, a lot quicker uh, because they, if they're being honest with themselves, they understand that that is an area of weakness for them and they know that hey, this is something I've got to work on. And so, and so it allows the, the, the coach to, to communicate a lot clearer and to communicate a lot more efficiently and the buy-in to be a lot more, uh, a lot quicker, quicker turnaround time. Um, it allows you to, to the, the pitchers after an outing to, to find areas that they need to work on. If, hey, you know, my curveball just isn't feeling very good today and, they, and it's reflected in, in their game logs, well, then we can go back and, and, and in a bullpen setting, really talk to the guy and try to be uh, a, a lot more efficient with our coaching as far as what he needs to work on for that specific day. Again, the buy-in time is, is shortened rapidly. Um, you know, I think what it allows guys to do is if you're chasing numbers, if you're chasing ERA, if you're chasing batting average and you fall short of that, um, you, you can get downtrodden, and, and, and this game is a grind, you know, and, and if you uh, allow those guys something positive to take out of everything they do, whether it's a quality outing, whether it's a quality at bat, whether it's a quality pitch, and then you give them this opportunity to, the, to the log the information on a daily basis, they can go back to when they were being successful, and they can continue to grind. Uh, it's a great tool. Uh, I hope you guys use it. Um, I wish everybody the best of luck. Good luck. Keep grinding. Excellent.